There have been a lot of changes to banking here in the Roanoke Valley recently. Branches are closing, banks are being bought and renamed, and it can get confusing to people trying to choose where to put their money. Mm -hmm. Here to talk about the options available to local consumers and businesses is Paul Phillips, president and CEO of Freedom First Credit Union. Welcome to the show. Great to have you. Thanks for having me. All right, it says here that Freedom First started decades ago as a small employer-based credit union at right. GE in Salem. That's right. Talk a little bit about your history. That's right. In 1956, there were seven employees of the GE plan in Salem that decided to pool their money, $40, and start a credit union. And they served initially the GE employees, and that expanded over the years. Uh, today we have about 47,000 members, about $350 million in assets and we serve the Roanoke and the New River Valley. Wow, that's a lot of growth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, and over those years, you know, a lot of things change in the banking industry. Talk a little bit about that, and do those changes affect Freedom First? Uh, there's been tremendous changes, uh, not only from a consumer preference standpoint, what we want in terms of technology, mobile banking and these sorts of things, uh, regulatory changes, and also competitive changes. You know, big banks seem to be getting bigger, um, some of them go through changes. Uh, when that happens, that seems to benefit us because people start to think about local alternatives and more and more they seem to be turning to Freedom First. So uh, lots of changes. It seems like you don't know what's going to happen from day to day. And for us, we just try and stay rooted in our mission, which is uh, helping people prosper and helping communities thrive. So amidst all that change, we just think if we really hold on to what matters most, uh, we're going to continue to uh, do well. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the com community is going to notice that too. Exactly right. All right, I understand that you are moving into a branch near Tanglewood Mall. That's right, that's right. Uh, some of those uh, bank changes had uh, made a property available for us. Uh, we'd been looking to locate a branch in that part of the Roanoke Valley for quite some time. So this became available. We moved very quickly and we will be opening that branch. It's directly across from Panera down by Tanglewood Mall. Mm -hmm. We will be opening that in November. Okay, that's a great location it there. It is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and uh, the West End branch is a little bit different than a typical branch. Tell us about that. It sure is. Uh, the West End branch is really a, a collaborative effort. There's lots of partners involved, lots of community stakeholders who are very interested in trying to revitalize that part of the Roanoke Valley. Many have been at work in that part of town for years. Uh, so we um, wanted to site a branch in a neighborhood uh, that we really felt we could make a difference where there wasn't another financial institution in close proximity and our search led us to West End so we approached the West End Community Center uh, they had acquired the old Villa Sorrento building many years ago and that just seemed like the perfect site for us so the city was a tremendous help in helping us secure funds for this project it's been open about two months now it's doing very well the response has been terrific I really think that over time uh, we can make a big difference uh, in the surrounding community, Grandin, Mountain View, Hurt Park, and the West End area. So mm -hmm. we're pretty pleased with the way that that's going right now. Yeah, and I understand that the West End Project is part of why Freedom First was named 2013's National Community Credit Union of the Year. That's right. right? Yeah, we're very proud of that. Um, you know, we, we submitted our application. We didn't know if we would even make it to the final round, but we were fortunate enough to be chosen by our National Trade Association, uh, the National Community Credit Union of the Year. And I think it was, uh, number one, we're, we're a strong financial institution. So uh, when it comes to uh, the business of banking, we're good at it. But as I mentioned earlier, we really have a mission uh, that really compels us to do things that perhaps for-profit institutions wouldn't. So whether you're getting, uh, you know, a $50 loan uh, to get you through a pinch or a $5 million commercial loan, we serve people in that whole spectrum and mm -hmm. we serve parts of the community that perhaps others would not. So I think they looked at all of those things together, being a strong financial institution mm -hmm. and the special mission oriented things that we do, and they were impressed by it. So we're very, uh, very appreciative of being recognized in that way.